In this second video, we're going to look at some markout and discount uh, equations. And when you look at markup and discount equations, it, it's important to start with this continuum that we discussed in the last one. And that is, um, you're always starting with the um, cost. The cost is kind of our starting point. And the cost always represents what it costs whoever is selling the item. Uh, if it's a store, if it's a company that makes their own products, how much, do, what were the raw materials that can, and work, labor that cost to create that, whatever the case is, there's always going to be a cost, and then you're going to mark that up to what it's going to be sold for. And we're going to refer to that as the selling price of the item. And then after the selling price, sometimes an item gets discounted, which means the, pro the price goes down, and it gets discounted down and that results in a sale price. And when you find the markup percent and discount percent, or percent markup and percent discount, uh, percent markup is out of the cost, and so it just is um, uh, markup over cost is the percent discount, percent markup, and then the percent discount is the discount over selling price. And so that's how you calculate these. So it allows us to have some equations. The first one is an equation that deals with markup, and that is the cost of an item times the markup percent, MU meaning markup, you know, and you're going you're gonna to write this as a decimal, equals the actual markup. Okay, so if you, if you have a, an $80 item and it's a 25% markup, then you multiply 0.25 times 80 and you get 20 and that's the actual markup. The other one with markup though deals with what happens if you don't know the actual markup but you do know the markup percent. Well we know this, the cost of an item times, and here's where it gets a little confusing, but you're going to multiply by 1 plus the markup percent, again markup percent is a decimal in this situation, so in our previous example it's 25% would be 0.25. And that's going to equal your actual selling price because whenever you add the percent increase, which is what markup is, to one, that gets you what's the um, end point, what percent is the end point, the selling price of the starting point, the cost. So these two equations, we'll call these equations one and two, are very valuable in dealing with any problem that has to do with cost, markup percent, and markup. And then with discount, the third equation, we'll have one that corresponds very closely to this, except we're talking about discount. So we say the selling price, the selling price times the uh, discount percent or the percent discount, again, as a decimal, is always equal to the actual discount. So if you're taking 30% off of something and you multiply that times the price, that doesn't give you the new price, it gives you the sale price, it gives you the discount. And then you have to subtract from the selling price to get the sale price. But in the same way as we did on number two there, we can take the selling price and instead of multiplying it by the percent discount, we can say a 30% discount is the same as taking 70% of the original, so 100 minus 30. So we do one minus percent discount and if we do that instead, that allows us to directly calculate our sale price. So if you can memorize A, but really even more so understand why these four equation work, equations work, it makes for a um, very easy way to um, solve any problem that uses markup and discount. because. Most of the time, it's very easy to know. Do I have cost? Do I have markup percent? Do I have markup? What do I want to know? And then you can pick and choose from these equations to what will accurately solve what you want to get solved.